Have you ever thought of being your own boss? I tell you, I always wanted to be my own boss. And I'm sure it came from how I was raised. My mom and dad were entrepreneurs. They own their own business. My dad had a hardware store, but he sold furniture, toys, appliances, anything you can imagine he sold. Floor covering. And we all helped. I mean, it was during that time that most people had small businesses. If you're especially in a small community, they had a lot of more dairy farmers. You know, they just were their own boss. And it got into my soul. So when I left college, I had a degree in teaching for mathematics. And also, I had a degree in business. And my dad needed some help. So I went back to help and I stayed in the business for 14 years. You know, and the world has changed. We had three stores in three small towns in northwestern Wisconsin. A town of 1,800, a town of 2,500, and I was running the store in the biggest town of, I think it was about 6,000. And we did well. I mean, we, we really did. But then all of a sudden, retail changed. You know, it came back into, uh, uh, you know, all the big box stores started coming in. You know, it, it, Walmart, Menards. Menards was kind of like a Lowe's or a Home Depot. Uh, Kmart, they all came at once. And our pockets weren't as deep as theirs. And they came with the mission was to take us out because we ran a very successful business. And I was fortunate I had a teaching degree. So I went into teaching. Now, I want to tell you about teaching. One, it was a calling. I kept thinking I was going to go back sometime because I loved work with kids. Didn't like the politics of teaching or the administrators so much, but I did like kids. And when I got started, you know, I found something that was really interesting because I was really my own boss. You know, and th I know education has changed a lot, but when I got started, it was like, here's my room. Here's what I'm going to teach. Run your classroom. And you'd get a evaluate a couple times a year and it was easy i i ran my own business i had to get my kids ready to graduate from my class i first started in middle school then they moved me up to high school and it was just i just totally enjoyed it um but then that changed too you know it, it always did but getting back to being your own boss I, I tell you what once you're in business you're always in business so i always had my hands on something one because of the tax advantages you know i understood that you know, as long as I was trying to make money, I had write-offs. I mean, I could write a lot of things off, and I and I did. I learned that from my dad. I learned that from the business we're in, that it, it, there was a, a you know, the, the tax rules are made for small business people because they want, they want people to get jobs for other people, and that's never going to change. Well, it could be in the situation we're in right now, but... I tell you what, that, I mean, that's what it was set up for. So I've always had my hands in the business. I tried different things. I've been in financial services, great business, except I was always gone. You know, to build a business, you're gone all the time. But then I started finding this online marketing. And I had a learning curve to go through. And very fortunately, I ran into a guy that's I've been with a couple projects of his. And I don't want to say project businesses. He's reached out with and said, Mark, you should take a look at this. And the last one was a company called Live Good. And to tell you the truth, I'm re I was retired from teaching. I was really done. I didn't want to do anything. But you know what? I tell you, it, it excites me. I get excited. I want to help people. I want to take people from where they are to get them in business. So I joined because of the low entry fee is $49.95. $40 for a one-time affiliate fee. You pay it once, you don't have to pay it again. The membership is $9.95 a month. 33 cents a day to be able to buy products, nutritional products that get people healthier. Unbelievable. And the key right now is because we've been in business, I think they started December 2022. This is uh, going to be, um, you know, this is July 2024. And right now they're just expanding. We're getting new products. There's going to be co-op advertising for us. They, they just, I saw an email today from the thing that had my name on it. I didn't even know about it. They sent it out to people and, you know, you, you go shop and it goes right to me, to my business. Unbelievable. So, hey, if you've ever wanted to be your own boss, the key right now is affiliate marketing, online business. 
You know, I couldn't afford a McDonald's franchise. I couldn't afford any franchise, to tell you the truth. You know, I couldn't, you know, how do you get started? It, it, you know, you can become an insurance person, but it, I, you know, it just didn't make any sense to me. But online marketing, when I found LiveGood, $49.95, $49.95, everybody's got 50 bucks. Go borrow it from a credit card to get started. So I had a link below here. It is called MarkStreetTour.com. It's just a five minute video, Man, a little bit more than five minutes. I watched it twice. And then what I did, I reserved a spot. Cause it was free. I just reserved a spot. And I wanted to see what the back offices looked like. I wanted to see what LiveGood did. And you know, they took care of me. Cause it was like, for a while, it was just like, holy cow, they're doing all the work for me. So go watch this video, MarksFreeTour.com. Reserve a free spot. You can always opt out. You can always say, no, I don't want it. But it's free. Just go watch it and reserve a free spot and see what happens. And then you start working to become your own boss. Y'all take care. Bye.